So I'm Brendan Davis. I'm one of the owners of the wine glass. Um, have lived in Amanus for about 15 years. Have always had an interest in wine, mostly drinking it, and then I came around to understand a little bit of uh, business behind the, the wine as well. All right, so we're located at number two Harbour Road, which is uh, the old tourist corner of, of, of Hermanus. Uh, it's, it's a very old road. It's opposite Lem's Corner. A lot of history in the, in the street, and it's a, a real little tourist road. So we recognize the need to elevate and, um, and I guess profile the wine of the region. Um, I don't think it has its place in the sun quite where it deserves just yet. Uh, if we can play any small part in, in, in elevating it uh, to the heights that I think it will still achieve, um, then we're doing just a little bit of our job. We recognize that people come to Hermanus, um, wines is a big draw card for them. They're here for the whales as well. But sometimes they're just here for a day or two. International guests, local guests as well. And it's often difficult to get out to all the wine farms or to get to the wine farms that you'd like to go to. Or even understand some of the wines on offer because you haven't been there. So we set the wine glass up with the intention of being able to display and, and showcase and highlight uh, particular styles of wine. We're very much about coming to experience the broad range of wines that we have in, in, a, in a single sitting or multiple sittings because effectively we have 96 wines available by, by the glass or in a tasting. So, so we've got, I think we've got about uh, eight or nine different varietals. We only do wines from, a, from this region and the region is from Bot River to Elam with a, with a strong focus on Hemel and Arda because of the excellence that it has on Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. Bot River has, has, has excellent Chenins and standout Shiraz. Um, they've got beautiful bubbly. Uh, the Sauvignon Blanc that comes out of the Elam and, and the Gallus region is just exceptional. So over and above uh, wine tastings and breakfast that we do and lunches and dinners, we also do events. So we have uh, wine, wine evenings where we'd have the winemaker come on in, spend an evening with a crowd talking about the wines that they produce, how they go about it, giving a bit of insight into the wine uh, farms and the wine producers that we represent. Um, and it's a, it's a brilliant evening out. Uh, everyone always walks away. It's generally a two or three course meal, sometimes four course. Um, it's often a vertical tasting where you'd get to taste uh, one wine over four or five different years. So you can see how it, how it improves and changes over time in the bottle. Um, or it'll be a, a, a tasting of a number of the different wines that they do. So, so every time we, 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 we have an event and during the winter months in particular, and some of the summer months, we're busy with some right now. Uh, we're doing a wine evening every two weeks, uh, and they generally are sold out because they are so popular. You know, I, I spoke earlier about the incredible wines that we have of this region. So to sit down and actually have the winemaker have a personal conversation with you and talk you through that tasting is pretty special. We do weekend events. Uh, we often have music, live music in the courtyard, or if the weather doesn't permit, we'll, uh, we'll bring the musician inside. It's understated, um, but, but certainly gets the vibe going. Um, and we'll, we'll, we shake it up, you know. It's, it's great to have a community type uh, destination where people come in, they know that on a Saturday afternoon there's gonna be a, a, a good craft beer on the go, somebody strumming the guitar, playing some pretty cool music, and then of course all the wine and food to choose from. So we're all, we also play active roles in, in a lot of our festivals. We've got, a, we've got a, an art festival that comes around every year uh, where we'll have uh, art talk, wine talk, uh, food talk. Um, we have weddings here occasionally and birthday parties, so, so we're an event-driven space as well. Initially we were going to be a wine bar and then the food element was, a, was something we just couldn't ignore. And so we've evolved into a, um, into a restaurant as well. And, and we opened with a restaurant, but I think our food element has, uh, has, has changed quite dramatically over time. We recognize the needs of our clients. So definitely spending a few hours here. We've got chef's plates, tasting plates, sharing plates, another way to see it. Um, we've also got a plate full of food because uh, our market also requests every now and again, give me a bottle of course, you know, give me something I want to eat. Um, but the idea is to spend time with your friends, share wine, share stories, share food. Uh, and share a great experience. That's, we are all about the experience.